Okay. I'm meteorologist Brian Hill. Flooding out west, we have absolutely the opposite problem. Let me show you what people are putting up with. Oh, just bare ground. <laughs> There's some green in the distance. That's where a wise man was watering. And on my lawn, if you look carefully, you can see one blade of green grass. Go back to the other picture. That one is, tells the story. I'll tell you. And uh, also leaves are falling very quickly right now because of one, the drought, and two, heat stress. So that is the story. Now on uh, radar tonight, there's actually something showing up here that's very important. It's green, it's near Raleigh, it's rain, and we have been waiting for something. Uh, you're getting the sign here tonight that uh, there's the beginning of a, a change, and it has to do in part because of moisture, and Tropical Storm Matthew is providing some moisture for the Gulf Coast area in general. It's come ashore, it's not doing much, only 35 miles an hour, but it brings with it a lot of moisture and that means that uh, all this, uh, this storm is going to be re-entering the Gulf, the moisture along with it, transporting up north, and that's potentially great news for us and our drought problems because, as you can see here tonight, the general flow is a long and frontal boundary here, and there's some showers showing up in green on radar tonight. So we can expect a cool down because of the cold front that is here. It has put an end to these sunny conditions that we were experiencing today. And here's a look at future track on Sunday. By 7 o'clock at night, we'll have some plumes of moisture coming into the area. Uh, they'll be widely scattered, though, a little bit around the Outer Banks of North Carolina. We can expect a shower at times tomorrow. That's the bottom line. And it's going to be a pretty good day, all in all. These thickening clouds will be over top of us. Cooler temperatures, you can handle that, can't you? And here's the precip forecast for our area, very specifically. Most of the action around our area, and not very much, down in northeastern North Carolina, about five inches near Charlotte. And most of the uh, areas to the west of us are where the really severe drought has been, and that's where they're going to get most of the rain tomorrow. Monday, our best shot at some shower activity. Beautiful night tonight. Uh, cloudy skies, but uh, you can see lots of visibility around, and some people might want to head out in the water. Tomorrow, there is uh, a problem with the wind speed, so the flags are up. 15 to 20 knot winds from the north tomorrow, and we'll have around three to four foot seas uh, in the ocean and the bay, two to four, 76 degree water temperature, high at 443 in the afternoon, the low around 10 to 16 in the morning. And the uh, express forecast looks like this. It's going to be a nice quiet night. Could see a passing shower. Temperatures falling to about 69 by the time you get to 6 o'clock in the morning. And your seven-day forecast looks like this. 78 tomorrow with some passing showers at times. Monday, best chance of some shower activity for us, but only about oh, a tenth of an inch or so and 80 degrees. And by the time we go all the way to Friday and Saturday, we're back to sunshine. But we could see some showers this week, Lori. The Hokies travel north to begin ACC at South Carolina State. So a lot of great college football today. Everybody getting into the thick of things. Thick of things. How Speaking thick? of thick, How oh, thick. thick. Is this? this is huge thick. What, what, what? Kansas Jayhawks creamed at New Mexico State 42 to 16. Thank you very much. They have football in New Mexico? Well, yeah. Oh, they do, and we beat them. There you go. That's pretty thick. All nice. right. Not bad, huh? Mm -hmm, not okay. Bad. No, For the five people out there that care, <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow will not be bad. Stay in and do your laundry. That wraps up the <laughs> Wavy News 10 and 11. We're signing off on air. Check us out online at wavy.com. Saturday Live is next. Hey, Parker, want to race home? Bet I can. He's making his debut on Saturday Night Live, and we've got a peek. I'm meteorologist Brian Hill. We've actually got some showers showing up on Super Dopper 10, and I'll have all the details on what lies ahead for tomorrow coming up. And let the fish stories begin. A special group of anglers. I'm meteorologist Brian Hill. Flooding out west, we have absolutely the opposite problem. Let me show you what people are putting up with. Oh, just bare ground. <laughs> There's some green in the distance. That's where a wise man was watering. And on my lawn, you, if you look carefully, you can see one blade of green grass. Go back to the other picture. That one is, tells the story. I'll tell you. And uh, also leaves are falling very quickly right now because of one, the drought, and two, heat stress. So that is the story. Now on uh, radar tonight, there's actually something showing up here that's very important. It's green, it's near Raleigh, it's rain. 
and we have been waiting for something. Uh, you're getting the sign here tonight that uh, there is the beginning of a, a change, and it has to do in part because of moisture. And Tropical Storm Matthew is providing some moisture for the Gulf Coast area in general. It's come ashore. It's not doing much, only 35 miles an hour, but it brings with it a lot of moisture, and that means that uh, all this, uh, the storm is going to be re-entering the Gulf, the moisture along with it, transporting up north, and that's potentially great news for us and our drought problems because, as you can see here tonight, the general flow is a long and frontal boundary here, and there's some showers showing up in green on radar tonight. So we can expect a cool down because of the cold front that is here. It has put an end to these sunny conditions that we were experiencing today. And here's a look at future track on Sunday. By 7 o'clock at night, we'll have some plumes of moisture coming into the area. Uh, they'll be widely scattered, though, a little bit around the Outer Banks of North Carolina. We can expect a shower at times tomorrow. That's the bottom line. And it's going to be a pretty good day, all in all. These thickening clouds will be over top of us. Cooler temperatures, you can handle that, can't you? And here's the precip forecast for our area, very specifically. Most of the action around our area, and not very much, down in northeastern North Carolina, about five inches near Charlotte. And most of the uh, areas to the west of us are where the really severe drought has been, and that's where they're going to get most of the rain tomorrow. Monday, our best shot at some shower activity. Beautiful night tonight. Uh, cloudy skies, but uh, you can see lots of visibility around, and some people might want to head out in the water. Tomorrow, there is uh, a problem with the wind speed, so the flags are up. 15 to 20 knot winds from the north tomorrow, and we'll have around three to four foot seas uh, in the ocean and the bay, two to four, 76 degree water temperature, high at 443 in the afternoon, the low around 10 to 16 in the morning. And the uh, express forecast looks like this, gonna be a nice quiet night, could see a passing shower, temperatures falling to about 69 by the time you get to six o'clock in the morning, and your seven day forecast looks like this, 78 tomorrow, with some passing showers at times. Monday, best chance of some Shower activity for us, but only about oh, a tenth of an inch or so and 80 degrees. And by the time we go all the way to Friday and Saturday, we're back to sunshine, but we could see some showers this week, Lori. And one in the MEAC, they will be off next weekend and then play at South Carolina State. So a lot of great college football today. Everybody getting into the thick of things. Thick of things. How Speaking thick? of thick, How oh, thick. thick. Is this? this is huge thick. Wide, wide, wide. Kansas Jayhawks creamed at New Mexico State 42 to 16. Thank you very much. They have football in New Mexico? Well, yeah. Oh, they do, and we beat them. There you go. That's pretty thick. All nice. right, not bad, huh? Mm -hmm, not okay. Bad. No, For the five people out there that care, <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow will not be bad. Stay in and do your laundry. That wraps up the <laughs> Wavy News 10 and 11. We're signing off on air. Check us out online at wavy.com. Saturday Live is next. Hey Parker, want to race home? Bet I can beat you there. With its it's coming up Saturday morning at 10:30 right here on Wavy TV 10. Call A Active because you're going to get somebody who's passionate about doing a good job and wants to make sure you're happy and that you feel safe and protected in your home. It's as easy as one, two, three for you to live bug free. Go to one, two, three, bugfree.com. Trick or treat. Post pictures of your little ghosts and ghouls. And check out the Halloween guide for safety tips and fun events. All on wavy.com. Raise your glasses for the Chesapeake, Virginia Wine Festival, October 30th. First in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. City Hall shakeup. Norfolk's mayor speaks only to 10 on your side after city manager Regina Williams announced she's stepping down. Then a brazen robber. Police need your help nabbing the man they say robbed a local fast food restaurant with a shotgun. Plus, zombies hit the streets. We'll show you what it took to organize this spirited game of tag in the Mermaid City. Wavy News 10 Saturday morning starts right now. And good Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kay Young. I'm meteorologist Brian Hill. You know, we got frost on top of some of the cars this morning. I knew it was cold. <laughs> I knew it. Get but it's, it's not going to stay that way, though, right? Yeah, fortunately, nice and bright. We're going to warm up some. I'll tell you how much coming up. Okay, uh, and we're going to start out with uh, some nice temperatures today, too, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right, thanks, Brian. Well, now to our top story this morning, a shake-up at Norfolk City Hall. City manager. Police were hired, and we do not have any reports of complaints 
or crimes. Now, the event lasted until 1130 last night. Now, it was a chilly night, but what about the rest of our weekend? We're going to check in with meteorologist Brian Hill mm -hmm. for an update. Morning, Brian. Oh, gee, it was cold uh, yesterday, but, uh, you know, it's even as cold this morning uh, and we've got some frost on top of some of the cars as I was just mentioning down in North Carolina uh, Curta County is reporting 40 degrees right now gosh 45 in Norfolk it is uh, you see the blue inland there those are the areas where we have a, a frost advisory this morning it's just going to be a really cold start uh, 42 in Elizabeth City as you can see we see 39 in Danville yep we're talking close to freezing or at freezing or below freezing for especially the inland areas. So, gosh, it's going to be a, a cold start. But, you know, if you have a little bit of uh, uh, warming in terms of a sweater or maybe a nice warm cup of coffee this morning, that would be good, right? <laughs> You're going to need it. Uh, we have clear skies. The Super Doppler 10 showing us we've got uh, no major problems in terms of precipitation. It's just Gee, the temperature. And right now, 39 in Newport News. We're in the 30s as you step out the door. 45 in Norfolk and Virginia Beach, 41. You can see our high, 45. Our low, 43. Gosh, uh, 43 in terms of Hampton right now. 34 in Chesapeake. 37 in Suffolk. My goodness. And we do have these frost advisories till 8 a.m., especially for the areas inland here, but that's expected to be lifted. However, probably it's going to be uh, in, uh, stated again for tonight, so watch out for that. Hey, we've got a lot going on. The uh, SPCA walk from 10 to 2 today should be about 60 degrees. Uh, junior diabetes going on at 10 o'clock, about 60 degrees for that. And tonight at the Living Museum between 8 and 9 o'clock, they're spooktacular, about 59 degrees. So I hope you're ready for uh, chillier temps, let's put it that way. And the long-range outlook, the, fire, the uh, seven day forecast has got uh, the story for you. Uh, we are going to start to warm up. Won't that be nice? 69 today. I th some places inland could squeak up to 70. 75 for our Sunday. A terrific weekend before the showers come along on Monday. And then Tuesday, 81, 82 Wednesday. <laughs> A little sprinkle on Thursday is possible at 80. And 70 degrees on Friday, and that's certainly going to be warmer. Well, thanks, Brian. Information to make a disaster kit and an evacuation plan. Now, we haven't had too much wet weather the last few days, but we're going to check and see how things are shaping up for the weekend with meteorologist Brian Hill. Brian. Okay, Kay. Well, we've got cold temperatures. That's what's shaping up, and we do have some action in the tropics. We're going to talk about that as well. But, wow, you look at these blue conditions right here. Very, very cool. We're 45 in Norfolk right now, and uh, look at this, 42 in Elizabeth City. And once we go inland, we're talking 30s, 39 in Danville. It's a very chilly morning. Get your cup of coffee. Rub your hands together, maybe put on a sweater today as you're stepping out the door. Keep that in mind. Clear skies on Super Doppler 10, and that's the reason clear skies enforcing this cold air. Uh, the heat of the day escapes out into space with radiational cooling, so we're looking at more of this cool weather. And the tropics, well, they're a little active. You can see some activity off of uh, Africa here, but the real eyes are pointed toward Richard here that's going to impact with uh, what looks like a... a a landfall in Honduras, and you can see the motion is off to the east here. Uh, we can expect it to actually come to hurricane force by uh, 2 o'clock on our Sunday, and then it's just going to keep its motion off to the north and to the east. The models are not in terribly good agreement about this, but it's looking like it's going to recurve and go back into the Gulf, so we'll have to watch this very carefully, see what happens. Uh, our temperatures today are what we're going to be talking about across uh, northeastern North Carolina and the, uh, the Hampton Roads area, but we can expect a warmer week. It. Why? Circulation around the high pressure center is clockwise, and that's going to bring up some of this warmth from the Gulf eventually up over top of us. Won't that be good? <laughs> Certainly a lot better than what we're experiencing now. 39 in Newport News, Norfolk at 45 and 42 in Virginia Beach. My goodness, clear skies for us. Hampton, 34 and 34 in Chesapeake, 37 in Suffolk right now. It's very cold. We've got a frost advisory until 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, that's probably going to be reinstated for tonight as well. And our weather headlines, the SPCA walk today about 60 degrees as it goes on from around uh, 10 to 2. And uh, Junior Diabetes Walk is uh, going to be active today. There will be in the 60s as well. 
the, uh, this evening between 8 and 9, about 59 degrees for the Virginia Living Museum's activities. And let's take a look at what's going to happen tonight. 39 in the Hosky tonight, still clear and cold. Nags Head, 49. Uh, we're looking at uh, clear and cold for Southside Hampton Roads tonight as well, but the uh, frost is going to be inland for the most part. 37 in Williamsburg and on the eastern shore, uh, it's going to be well, close to 40 degrees at Cape Charles and 38 in Irvington. And the long-range outlook shows that we're going to warm up. I know, you don't believe it, right? Well, believe this. Uh, 69, some areas squeaking up to 70 degrees. And then 75 on our Sunday, some raindrops around on Monday. But look at those temperatures midweek, 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, okay? Well, thanks, Brian. One of Hollywood's hottest young actresses hosts Saturday Night Live tonight. That's 264 at City Hall Avenue and uh, people waking up and mm -hmm. getting out. Thanks yeah. for joining us. I'm Kay Young. Stay warm. That's <laughs> the bottom line. Yes. Get a coffee. Get up close to the TV set, join us. We've got a lot of wonderful stuff that lies ahead, but it's going to be a, a shockingly cold start if you haven't been up this early in the morning. Uh, mostly sunny skies by 9 o'clock, about 57. Yes, 57, 67 at noon hour today. Lots of sunshine and by 3 o'clock, 69. Some places could squeak to 70, but boy, it's going to be cool. And then we start to cool down by 6 o'clock tonight, 66, okay? It's going to be bright, but cold. Right, but call it. We'll have a jacket. Thanks, Brian. Well, now to our top story this morning. The purpose does that in a faith-based organization that uses kids' own words to uh, inspire and to empower other kids. And now the event continues, so today you can look for our Don Roberts at the Teen Forum. It starts at 11 a.m. at Lambert's Point Community Center. And now it's time to get a look at your forecast. Meteorologist Brian Hill is here helping out this morning in the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center. Brian? Okay, we've got spectacularly cold temperatures this morning. Uh, Doris in Lower Eastern Shores is 42, the lowest so far this year. And that's the story for well, Blackwater. Donis is 35 and uh, Currituck, North Carolina reporting at a 40 with some frost at the top of the car. Check out the temperatures here. You see the blue area inland. Those are the coldest. Norfolk at 45. And as we uh, get a little closer here, you can see that uh, 37 Suffolk and Danville at 39. Oh, gee whiz. And uh, Elizabeth City at 42. We're talking cold temps. And the reason we've got these clear skies and so the heat of the day just escapes out of the space and we've got a cold flow over top of us right now. Uh, the tropical storm Richard is in the Gulf. Looks like it's going to move into Honduras and become a hurricane just before it hits landfall. We have protection from high pressure. It's clockwise rotation like this. That's going to pull up some warmth from the Gulf and eventually protect us from these showers and move warmer air our way. Won't that be nice? Our current conditions, 39 in Newport News, Norfolk at 45, and Virginia Beach at 42. Gee whiz, look at Hampton at 43 and 34 for Chesapeake and Suffolk at 37 right now. You just have to dress warm. It's gonna be a wonderful day, lots of sunshine. We do have this frost advisory until eight o'clock this morning, and uh, that's probably gonna be reinstated tonight once again for these inland areas. Uh, the walk for the uh, support of those dogs and cats, the Norfolk SPCA has a dog walk. It's be about 60 degrees between 10 and two, and the same for some of the other activities going on in the area, a lot of them today. Lots of homecomings, amazingly busy weekend for so many. And if you're wondering about tonight, still clear and cold, 39 in Ahoski and Elizabeth City at 41. Southside Hampton Roads, well, 42 in Portsmouth with 36 in Franklin and Suffolk at 37. Another cold night lies ahead for us, but lots of sunshine. And then clear and cold for Saturday night. And uh, we're talking the same story for uh, the the Eastern Shore for uh, Cape Charles and Anacock at 40 degrees. Oh boy. But here's some good news. This is what you want to see. 69 degrees today for the high. Some areas touching 70. And then 75 for Sunday. A beautifully bright weekend and warming up. And midweek, look at Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 81, 82, and 80. Okay? Can't complain. Well, up in flames, a Virginia church is destroyed by a fire. Why this building held special place in the history books. Eight years, she was in a fog, dependent on narcotics prescribed after back surgery. When you experience excruciating pain, 